Hey everyone, Hugo Simon here. So um, I am here tonight because uh, this is just a uh, this is a tech episode. Um, because as you all know, I've been having kind of mic problems. It's always been a bit quiet, and I've kind of figured out one or two things. Plus, uh, Victor sent me a new microphone, so I want to show you my new microphone and compare the hearing right now, which is my webcam mic, to the uh, Zoom H2, which is what I've been using most of the time, to the new uh, Samsung Go mic. S-A-M-S-O-N, which Victor just sent to me. So uh, let's have a compare and see how they all sound. I'm interested to find out myself. Hey, so welcome back. Um, so let's have a look and see. So at the moment, uh, I've got select currently the, the webcam mic. And it's actually, it's not a bad mic. Um, it sounds perfectly good. It does pick up the sound of the PC, which is down below my feet at the moment a, a little bit. Um, but it's a good enough mic, but uh, I wanted to get something a bit better. Uh, there's actually one thing I noticed in setting the, all of this up, which I never noticed before. Uh, I'm always a lot quieter than Victor, and I'd always wondered about why that is. And I actually, um, when I was following the installation instructions for the new microphone, and it had the uh, sound device settings, I realized there's something which I'd always, always had wrong in the settings, which was probably a big part of the reason why my mic was almost always so much quieter than Victor's. I'll just show you what that is right now. Um, so boom, this is for uh, Microsoft Windows 7. Um, inside the sound settings, it's got this uh, recording menu. And when I installed the Go mic, although at the moment you can see all of them, I've got the, the H2, uh, the Zoom H2, my Microsoft Cam, which is what you're listening to right now, as well as the, the Samsung mic. What I found was when I clicked on the properties for this, um, and I went to the levels, boom um, this was set to like 30 it was at like 30 percent of the uh, appropriate mic level um the settings on the go mic said put it to 100 the, the the mic will adjust it and that's obviously what i should have done with this so actually my levels today should be a lot higher and they should be a lot higher from now on and that might have been the problem the whole, all along i might not have even needed, needed the new mic but the new mic has a pretty good red uh rep i've read some good reviews about it and so uh, i thought i'd take this opportunity to um to fix it up to see if see uh, you know to get it use a new mic it is beautiful and I'm going to show it off in just a second um, but yeah it would be nice just to see uh, which is the better mic and to compare the three so what is better going with the regular mic on the webcam does it make that much of a difference is it worth getting an extra mic if you get an extra mic um, these are two USB connectable ones uh, neither of them are the blue Yeti one is the the Zoom H2 and one is this fellow the uh, the Samsung uh, Go mic um, so I guess I'll start just giving a bit of a, an explanation about each one of them. I've had the Zoom H2 for a while now. The beauty of this is that it is a regular battery powered carry around mic, but you can also plug in USB, um, or, or a power source to it as a power source, but you can use it as a USB mic or a regular carry around mic. Uh, it's got a lot of controls for uh, settings. A lot of people say I've got too much uh, bass on this and I'll, I've tried to take that out. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very good sounding mic. Um, it's very light, it's very portable, it's got its own little stand and whatever. Um, and it's cool, it plugs straight into the PC. The PC recognizes it right away with the settings. Um, this I just got out of the box tonight. I'll show you the box. So this is it, the Go mic from Samsung and it's famously very small. It's a, it's a great performing mic. But I was genuinely really surprised by just how small this is. This is a very sturdy kind of cast metal. This is a, there's a little hole in this, which is obviously for attaching to a tripod. I, I guess that's a screw that you use typically for a camera. But it's got this clip here, which I guess is made for putting on, uh, for attaching on th things like a screen like this or on a laptop screen. But it also doubles just as a, as a regular stand, which you can uh, rotate this around. Um, very simple. There's only a, a, a a direction or omni mic and a, and a minus 10 decibel gain control on the uh, all the actual uh, level settings you do within the, within the PC um, but yeah it just sits on the desk in front doesn't even need a stand it's very small looks very cool so the question is is this better than the mic that I've been using until now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch first of all to the Zoom H2 and I guess I should probably say something say the same thing well why not why don't we just switch and see what it sounds like so switching over now Boom, so I'm going to switch to the Zoom mic. Okay, so now I am on the Zoom H2, and I've actually, as you might have just noticed, I've changed the levels on this. So this is actually now, the little green 
sound indicator on the side was always only going up about that far. Now it's going up all the way to the top and it's not redlining. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, this obviously, this has a setting that it can be omnidirectional or just in front. I've got this set for just in front. Um, I'm not a clear talker, plus I talk late at night, so I'm under some pressure to keep the sound down. <coughs> I also don't have a clear throat at the moment. But, um, yeah, sorry, this is how this should have sounded all along and never did. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. So let's just have a comparison of that and see how that is as a mic. I mean, when we just compared against the uh, webcam, let's see how the teeny tiny uh, Samsung mic compares up against that. So I'm going to switch over now. Uh, boom, boom. And this uh, is the Samsung mic. Um, I'm just going to point this at myself. It should all be adjusted. I wouldn't usually touch it. It wouldn't make those squeaky noises usually. I just made a bit of an adjustment. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a tiny mic, but it's been getting rave reviews. I've been reading a lot of mic reviews from this year on, on the best USB mics uh, going, at least at a budget. And this has been getting great reviews. So if this is the one, this is what Victor uses. So if this is the one that I, I really want, um, yeah, it's got an interesting feature as well. It does actually show a red light when it redlines. Uh, it'll automatically apparently compensate within the device. It just showed a little red button before. So uh, that's probably because I've got the levels set on full at the moment. Um, it's a beautiful little mic. It's very portable. Um, and who knows, this might be the one that I use from now on, but I'm interested to compare all three. Um, I guess I can't hear that at the moment, so I should stop and come back and play it back. So we'll see what it sounds like. And then I'm going to give my conclusion, and you can say what you think uh, in the comments below. One minute, I'm going to come back to this. So I'm just going to cut it there for a second. Okay, uh, I'm back now, and I've actually I've made two adjustments. So I'm currently still on the Samsung mic, but what I've done is I've placed the Samsung mic. Uh, I noticed it was, on, actually, it was on the edge of the desk, and I think it was picking up the PC sound. It was closer to the PC sound. It was interesting, actually, the LifeCam mic was actually picking up less of the PC sound than the other two. And I realized that's because the Samsung mic is actually further away on top of the desk. I uh, sorry, the, the, the Life Cam, the, the Microsoft Life Cam one them. So I went and just put the Samsung mic actually on my light stand. Uh, I, I clipped it onto that. I wonder if that's going to make the sound a little bit better. So I'm going to do another comparison again. I also noticed that the levels were really popping. They were too high on the um, Zoom H2. So I actually reduced the gain on that. So I'm going to also switch back to the Zoom H2 and see if it sounds any better with the reduced uh, gain levels. And then I'm going to go back to the webcam. So uh, this is the Samsung mic, and let's just switch back now to the uh, to the Zoom uh, H2. Boom. Okay, so this is now back on the Zoom H2. This is at the regular 100% uh, mic sound levels. I can see already from the green line that the levels are a lot lower, which I guess means that it will be clearer. But at the same time, I'm not getting so much love with the levels, which is where I'm always losing. So, I don't know, maybe something in between. It was definitely too high before. I'm going to increase it to, let's say, 110. Yeah, see, that's showing in about the mid-range now, but I don't know. I, mean, I still get a feeling that I like the, I like the sound of the Samsung a lot, actually. It, was a, it sounded clearer to me than the Zoom H2. And just for a reference, let's go back to the webcam and see how that sounds. Uh, boom, boom. Now we are back to the webcam, the Microsoft webcam. By the way, this Microsoft uh, Life Cam um, is a great little web camera. It actually it is capable of uh, 30 frames per second uh, in 720p or HD video, which actually not a lot of webcams, not a lot of USB webcams are. They're usually little pinhole things, and they don't have the capacity to actually stream that fast. Um, you know, Microsoft makes good add-ons, and you know what I just noticed? I never use the mic on the webcam, but I actually just noticed before comparing, I think it sounds really good. Um, however, this is just for a reference purpose, so I'm going to go back and switch one more time uh, very quickly between the Samsung, the H2, and the uh, LifeCam. I'm interested to hear from you guys which one you think is the best, which one you think I should stick with. I'm actually a bit of a fan of the Samsung, um, so I think that was a good present, actually. So thank you for that, Victor, and thank you uh, for everyone who complained about the H2. The H2 is, is very handy, but um, I know I'm just going to switch one more time and see what people think. So I'm going to switch to the H2 now. And this is the H2. Um, so I'm going to show you that one more time. And next I'm going to go to the Samsung uh, Go Mic one more time. Uh, see which one you like best. Which is the best sound? Which is the best sound? And this is the Samsung H2. This is the final one. I, I love the clarity of this. Um, I think if I use it, I'm going to put it up there um, rather than right down in front of me. 
um, saves me getting too much air or anything on it as well plus bumping it or anything like that I think I actually quite like that feature on the clip that I can put it on the uh, on the lamp stand so uh, that's the three mics um, which one do you like the best which one should I stick with which does will this solve my mic problems that I've had forever um, the, the PC is there and it, it's always going to be there and it's always going to make a little bit of noise it's never going to be this isn't a studio but it's pretty damn good so uh, have a look and uh, tell me what you think which mic should I stick with the, just go with the webcam have the uh, zoom h2 or the uh, Samsung Samsung uh, go mic which is brilliant you just heard it here see which one you like uh, I think I'm gonna stick with the Samsung so uh, see what you think okay peace.